Hey everybody, I'm Mark. Here comes Pam. <laughs> and this is Living Lead 101. We're not demoing that. That is not the exercise, although she had good form. We are going to demo an exercise uh, that everybody loves. It's called a curl squat press. It's a two dumbbell. It's exactly what it sounds like, but it's alternating. So you're going to start like this. Okay. One arm down between your knees, not out here, okay? One arm straight up. So if I walk around Pam, her arm is perpendicular in all planes, okay? You can't push it forward here. This will not work, okay? You face that way. When she goes down to squat, this is not going to move. Her torso will move slightly. She's super mobile, so it's not a big issue. But if she's not as mobile in her upper back, shoulders, and hip, here's what it might look like. Just a little bit more mm -hmm. Okay. So, right here, she's got to really bring that arm back and maybe even slightly rotate to get down in her squat. Okay. But since she is mobile, she can face square dead on and keep that arm up. But when she does go down, it is a huge amount of work back here for your shoulder stabilizers. That's what this exercise is for, one of them. Shoulder stabilizer, spinal mobility at the top, and hip mobility. Because you're squatting, that doesn't mean it's a leg exercise for us, because uh, it's lighter weight. Now, I, I would say load it as much as you can. What do you use here? Oh, I 20s. 20s? Yeah. But this is just demo weight. These are fives. Yeah. So she would use about 20 or so. Um, and the speed should be such that you can keep the dumbbells moving. So it looks like this. Stay in the side still? Yep. It's really just a literal curl on the way up and a press. A lot of folks on the way up with their curl, their arm goes out like that. It's not, it's a curl and a press, that's all it is. From the front, it looks like this. Pay attention to the dumbbell and her legs. They are out. She's not squatting and doing this, okay? That won't get into your hips. It's not hip mobility. This is an awesome metabolic exercise, but it does so much more. It's a huge stabilizer here and a mobilizer here. So that's what we do it for in all of those phases. Um, we usually incorporate this um, with a metabolic workout or in a finisher to a strength workout. Um, we usually do about 12 to 15 reps to make it worth it. But if you cannot do it, if you're just too tight, okay, then we just say squat to press. <laughs> and here's the alternative to that. It's not as coordinated, okay, so it's a bit easier, okay, but it's still a total body exercise. You don't get the stabilization and mobilization as you do in the offset one, but it's still good. Uh, but if you can, try that, okay. Perpendicular, dumbbell, touches the floor if you can, okay, just like so. Boom. And then go, go, go. You should start slow and then crank up your pace. Okay? Pace really matters here. If you're doing 25 pounds, you're coming off slow, and then you're trying to curl, you're going to be like this. Okay? So, boom, drive that with your hip. Can you show that one time? Yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a decent amount of leg and hip drive there. Okay? Although she doesn't need to do it with the fives, boom, you still get the idea. Okay? Uh, did I miss anything you want to talk? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, we'll be back next week with another exercise. Thank you.